My friend, my friend, this is Bill Bailey. We're in the key of G major. G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished, and then G again. So when we're going through here, it looks like we're taking a lot of these chords from here in the key, but there are a couple notes from these chords that are outside the key. Meaning, when we play the E minor, there is an E major in here, and rather an E7. So we need to bear in mind that that chord is borrowed from another chord. Uh, we have a D, which is a five chord, but we're playing it as a five seven chord, which means the D actually looks like a D dominant seven. And you could also call this the F sharp diminished if you'd like to. Well, at least on a four string instrument. Uh, we have the major fourth, which is the C. G, A, B, C major. And then we're going to have a C minor, which means this is a quick flip. If you haven't met this chord yet, I hope you really dig it. Uh, I tend to think first finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, so on and so forth. And then in different quadrants. However, this one feels funky for my reed finger. So watch this. The shape we need to do is hold this B string on the first fret to achieve a B sharp or a C note. And then we need to put our second finger on the second fret so we can maintain the E note. When we move our secondary finger to the same note we were playing with our first, and then put our first finger on that first fret for a G sharp, we can then take our third finger and throw it out here or our pinky. I prefer my pinky, and this is what it sounds like. Woo! From the C major to the C minor. So when going through this, make sure that you realize that you're definitely going to be switching from the C major to the minor, because that's the awesome part of this song. Along with, it does a quick walk down. One of the chords we do is the B7. If you're not familiar with the B7, it has uh, one of the notes aforementioned. It has that G sharp. We're then going to take our second finger right here, and then we're going to be playing the A note, and then all the way up top, the F sharp. This... B7 is wonderful in this tune. And then the only other uh, chord, which is kind of outside the pocket of the key, is we're turning the G major, not into a major 7, utilizing the F sharp, but utilizing the F, the dominant, and we're going to have a G7. That's the chord explanation. If you like the way that I uh, teach, please subscribe. Throw something in the comment section. Keep it classy if you would. Uh, the first chord is going to be a G major. Let's do all down strokes because we're 4-4. Four, four. There is a rest, so we're going to have a rest. Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Rest, won't you come, dotted half? No. Rest, rest. I cried the whole night. Big old long note here to the D7. Long. great tune. If you haven't checked this out, check out uh, Patsy Cline's version. It's a lot slower than most. However, I'm going to play this one a little bit more up-tempo and show you what the groove could feel like. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four...
fresh. Sure as heck did.